Holly Willoughby reportedly snuck out of the National Television Awards last night before the ceremony has ended. Holly Willoughby, 41, stunned in a black strapless gown as she took to the red carpet at the NTAs. However, the smiles did not seem to last, as it was reported that Holly left the ceremony half an hour after being booed due to this morning's award win. Holly joined Philip Schofield and the rest of the This Morning team to take to the stage to accept the Best Daytime Award. However, according to The Sun, Holly departed the awards show, held at London's Avo Arena, in Wembley, just half an hour after accepting the gong. A source said, Holly picked up her award for Best Daytime and then left 30 minutes after. Normally she stays around for a drink with Phil and the team but she did an Irish exit. She was seen leaving the ceremony and getting into a car outside just after 10 p.m. The insider added that it was very awkward for Holly and Philip when they accepted their award and were met with booze. Express.co.uk have contacted Holly Willoughby's representatives for comment. When accepting the award, Philip said, Please don't think we ever get complacent and please don't think we ever take it for granted. This means so much to us every year, especially this year. We have the best boss. Holly added, This morning has a very special relationship with you. You make our show for us, you really do. All these guys on the stage here, Allison, Hammond, and Dermot, O'Leary, Rochelle, Humes, and Vernon, Kay, Josie, Gibson, everyone. Thank you for all your support. NTA's viewers were shocked to see the pair receive the award on behalf of this morning this year, after the presenters were at the center of the Q-Gate controversy in September. The This Morning presenters were accused of skipping the queue to see the Queen lying in state, which they both denied. Holly and Phil faced considerable backlash, with a petition to have the presenters removed from This Morning reaching 73,000 signatures. This comes after former England captain David Beckham waited in line for almost 14 hours, despite being offered a pass by an MP to jump the queue.